Okay, let's see if I can get this. Do it correct. Um, whoa, hold on. Let's scoot this out a little bit. Uh, well, you guys don't need to see the discard pile, so let's just scoot that even further. Whoa. No free feet picks for you. There we go. Was lined up. I don't really understand how uh, Twitch does their zooms. So it it was like lined up perfectly when I was checking on my phone camera before, but now it's not. At uh, whoa, that's kind of crazy. Look at that. It's like all washed out. I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as you guys remember what it is. Looks like something out of inscription. Let me refresh my stream. There we go. Okay, I think what the issue was when I was streaming last time is that I had the orientation locked, and when it does that, it just locks it to portrait. Um, looks a little smit. Hold on. Let me wipe off the lens. Um, let's see if that helps. Looks a little, little fuzzy. Come on. There we go. Then I believe... Nope, can't do that on the Twitch app. Uh, on your standard iPhone, you can, like, hold on something and it'll lock in. Uh, let me check my audio. Whoops, hold on. Gotta unmute Twitch. Unmute my computer. How's that sound? Is that it? Can you hear it? Is that it? Can you hear it? Okay, so when I'm playing, I'll be about here. So how does this sound? Okay, so when I'm playing, I'll be about here. So how does this sound? That sounds good. Cool. Um, that sounds good. All right, let me remute that. Or, well, I don't need to mute it on my computer. I don't need to mute it on my computer. I just need to mute my computer. Uh, I would... Actually, yeah, hold on. Let me put on some mood music. This doesn't have to be... I'm always so hectic when I'm doing tabletop streams, but I can really... I don't have to freak out or anything. Let me see if I can get, this is my iPad. Uh, I have to re-download Spotify, but I'm sure I can find something here. Hold on. We're gonna get into it. You know, just uh, send up. Send up some spooky tunes. Ugh. I find it annoying when I'm trying to connect Bluetooth to uh, to uh, a different input. It always does weird stuff. There we go. Okay, that's connected. Re-downloading Spotify to my iPad because I don't really listen to it. My iPad doesn't have a lot of space, so I don't really listen to a ton of music on there. Um, everything is there. Yeah, that's really cool. What's happening with the loot deck here is that the glare from the light is making it look like it's just a white card, but if I put that revealed, revealed, that's cool. It's kind of spooky. I could use that in something. Huh. I'll have to write that down later. Uh, in the meantime, I should drop a stream marker. This 
so I can remember that spooky idea I just had. All right. Uh, well, that's taking a while to download, so we'll get into it now. And I'll just, I'll put on some ambience right before. Should be done by then, but it's almost done. Set up. Uh, this is The Binding of Isaac, Four Souls, The Binding of Isaac card game, which if you're familiar with the video game, it, uh, it plays not that different. They actually captured it pretty decently. Uh, it's kind of like a combination of Munchkin and Magic the Gathering, which is hard to explain, but as we go on, it'll probably make more sense. The idea is that you fight these monsters, you basically build up a bunch of items that combo in crazy ways, you know, these are the items, to fight these monsters, and the monsters have souls, right, in the corner here, that you get when you beat them, and that allows you to, you know, win. You just gotta get four souls. Uh, in this case, I'm playing the solo mode, which means you play with two characters who can help each other out. Uh, and we're going to play with rooms, which I will look at the room in a minute. I got a sack of pennies, which has the penny marker on there and some splashes of uh, tomato sauce. And yeah, it's these these little pennies. I wish these were nicer quality. I don't hate them. You know, they're better than paper money for sure. But at the same time, ugh, they're just like thin little plastic shavings. So... Not great, not terrible, just kind of middling. Uh, in the new edition, we have a bunch of new cards, including these new characters, who we'll get into, Among Us. Um, we'll pick those in a minute. Uh, but I also got this new die that has a Isaac head there, and another one of these D8s, which they're just red lettering on black, but that is going to be our timer. Uh, also, the room cards are a specific new type of card. And these teardrop counters, which are nice. And these hearts. These hearts, they're not necessary, but it's nice. Because before you just kind of had to remember, like, how many times did I hit them? I don't remember. But now you can just bloop, take the hearts off. And nickels. So these are just worth five. Versus the regular pennies. Um, all right, let me find a suitably spooky Binding of Isaac. Let's see if I can just look up Binding of Isaac. Yeah, there's the, there's the playlist. So we'll just play that. Which, uh, let me check how that sounds on the actual stream here. Uh, I'll turn that up a little bit. Okay, that's a bit loud for me personally hearing it, but hopefully you guys can hear me just fine. Yeah, you guys can hear me over it, so that's what's important. Uh, I can... Yeah, I'll have my iPad nearby so that I can adjust the volume as needed. Okay, so next thing we need to do to set up, I already have the two monsters, which Ultra Greed, eight hearts, that's a lot. Um, I have the three pennies and the three cards that each character starts with. I have two items out, which I'll go through in a minute. Then we have these souls, which are basically, they're like achievements, right? You just have to do what it says. So we have the soul of Guppy. The first player to control two or more Guppy items, which are in the item deck, gains this soul. So you just get it, and that's one of your souls towards the titular four. Soul of Wrath. Each time a player dies, put a counter on this. When the sixth counter is put on this, the active player gains the soul. So basically after six people have died, right? But we'll explain this in a minute. But basically... I'll explain it now. Every time you take a round of turns, so one turn for each player, this ticks down one, right? And it starts at eight, because it's a D8. But every time you die, it also ticks down one. 
And if it hits zero, you lose if you don't have your four souls by the end of that. Uh, so I don't know how we're going to be able to do that necessarily, but we'll see. Uh, and then Strawberry, the first active player to roll a one three times on the same turn, gains this soul. And that, as you can probably tell, is a Celeste reference because with this Kickstarter, they got a bunch of Warp Zone cards, which have this little swirl, and you can tell that guy as well. Uh, so they're all just like guest characters, which is awesome. There are a bunch of Binding of Isaac specific characters as well, but I mean, we're gonna play with the fun ones because they're here. So let me know in the chat as I go through these, which character you'd want me to do, because otherwise I'm gonna pick the ones I want, but I'm gonna go one by one and they each have a unique starting item. So let me know if there's a particular one you would like me to play as. So we have Abe from uh, the Odd World Games, which he's cute, but not personally a favorite. Uh, Edmund, as in Edmund McMillan, the creator of Binding of Isaac, the card game and the actual game, as well as, you know, Super Meat Boy. And he's working on Mugenics, which is like a new cat thing, which is cute. The crewmate from Among Us, that is going to a top tier for me. Ash, from the follow-up to Binding of Isaac, uh, the, what was it? The world's something, the end of everything. I don't remember, I've played it a little bit. It's pretty good, um, but yeah, eh, that's going in the maybes. Baba, ba from Baba Is You. I'll take that, because it's got, his item is Is You. Blind Johnny, AKA Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. That's uh, going in the top tier. Uh, we get two, by the way, we get two characters. So yeah, let me know what your choice for the top two is. Uh, Blue Archer, who looks familiar. I can't remember what Blue Archer is from, but this looks very familiar. Um, boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. Haven't played Friday Night Funkin', but yeah, I know of it. Uh, Bumbo the Weird from the new, from uh, one of Edmund McMillan's games, Bumbo, that I have not played. Captain Viridian from VVVVVV, or Septuple V, or 6V, or just a bunch of Vs. Uh, that's one that I really love. Johnny from The Room. Just straight up Johnny from The Room. That's uh, cute, but we're gonna, I don't really care that much. Uh, okay, that's getting a little loud. Crank that down a little bit. Uh, Pink Knight from Castle Crashers. We're gonna put that in a maybe. Psycho Goreman from the movie Psycho Goreman, which I thought was pretty fun. You know, as far as like indie horror comedies go, pretty great. As far as like movies go, like a six out of 10, seven out of 10. Uh, goes over there. Quote from Cave Story. Salad fingers, <laughs> straight up salad fingers. Um, I'm like, I'm back and forth on this one. I watched a lot of Salad Fingers as a kid because I watched a lot of Newgrounds and stuff. Do I actually like Salad Fingers though? I don't know, he might be good. Uh, Guy Spelunky, haven't played Spelunky. It looks great. I understand why people love it, but it's not my deal. Play-Doh cookie looks tasty. Yeah, do. Honestly, I thought it was like an M&M -M 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 cookie, but uh, yeah. I'm curious what the deal is with that. In fact, let me real quick. Let's see, we got Ultra Flesh Kid, which each time a monster or player dies, put a counter on this. At the end of your turn, if this has 12 plus counters, it becomes a soul and loses all abilities. Ooh, okay, it's pretty good. Uh, hopefully it's from monsters dying and not players dying, but you know, we'll see how that goes. And Play-Doh Cookie, at the start of your turn, you may choose a non-eternal item, you're starting uh, starting items are all eternal. Basically, they c you can't lose them. Um, put a counter on that item or remove one from it. Otherwise, gain one cent. Hmm. I mean, okay. That's pretty useful. Uh, Steven. This guy looks familiar. Don't remember what he's from. Is he also a... VVVVVV? I don't, I don't know. Uh, the Knight from Hollow Knight, a game I've been meaning to get to forever. I've played like a, the beginning. I haven't played a ton of it. My roommate 
is obsessed with Hollow Knight. He's been desperately trying to 100% that game for, like, years now. He's gotten close, but we haven't quite managed. Uh, the Silent from... Oh, I know this one. This guy's from uh, Slay the Spire, which I've played some Slay the Spire. I always want to play more because it's just one of those games where, you know, every run is really fun. And then Young Venus, this is the only guy where I have... Ab he doesn't even look familiar. I have absolutely zero idea who this guy is. I don't know. Let me know in the chat. But uh, yeah, those, personally, not as big into. So our choices here are these seven. Ah, uh, oh boy. Baba, okay, Baba's one of them. We'll make Baba the left player. Then we need to pick a second character. Hmm. I would say out of the characters here, it's like, I love Among Us. He's adorable, the crewmate. Johnny is like a lot of emotional attachment to Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. So unless one of, if you guys want to chat, if you, one of these six, you'd, you know, one of these other five you'd prefer, I'm going to go with Johnny for the other character. Among Us, okay. Baba and Among Us. I'm fine with that. I'm going to end up playing this game a lot because I just, I really like it. I think it's a, a really fun, quick game and it's all about like big, ridiculous combos. All right, so now what we got to do is find... Uh, is you. There we go. That's Baba's starting character, or starting item. And emergency meeting, which is the crewmate's starting item. There those go. So let's go over what that means really quick. So, uh, Baba's ability. Baba has two health, as I believe all the starting characters do, as does the crewmate. Don't block their eyes. Um, and Baba's ability, when you tap it, which it has to start tapped, but I'll read it first. It's choose another player. They reveal their hand. Choose a non-trinket, non-ambush loot card. These are the loot cards. Uh, till end of turn, you may play a copy bit without using a loot play. So you basically get to play a second card from someone else's hand. All right, so that starts out ka-chunk. Then the crewmate. Uh, oh, actually, Baba also has a starting care item, is you, which is, as your turn starts, choosing a turtle item another player controls. This gains all of that item's abilities till the start of your next turn. So this copies one of crewmate's eternal items. Okay. Then crewmate's ability, play an additional loot card this turn, which is the standard for most of the characters. Uh, or while voting, you may vote an additional time. So that means you get another vote. And emergency meeting, each player votes on a monster or a player. Each monster or player with the most votes are tied for the most takes one damage. At the end of your turn, we charge this. So this means that crewmate gets two. So that's basically just an additional damage of my choice since I'm playing as both characters. All right, and then their cards will go here. They each start with three cents which won't buy you very much bubble gum, but you know what? It's there. And then they both have hands of cards. <coughs> Let's see here. We have two cents, which just gives you two cents. And the items are each 10 cents. That's how much they cost. Um, then we have two tarot cards, the magician. Change the result of a dice roll to the number of your choosing. And Justice. Choose a player. Gain loot and sense up to the amount that player has. So that's basically you draw up to the same number of cards and the same number of money. So that will be very useful. Uh, yes. So those are pretty good cards. Then the other side we have pills. So you roll and you get one of these results, which are loot three, then put three cards from your hand on top. Loot three, then put one back or just loot three. 
Black Heart, choose a player, prevent the next one damage they would take this turn. Till end of turn, when that player dies, deal two damage to each player other than that player and you. So that is very sneaky. <sighs> All right, we got a bot. Hold on. Ignore them. Do not take this deal. It is fake. Oh, God, I haven't gotten a bot like that in a while. Hate those guys. All right. Uh, deal two damage. Lucky penny. Gain one cent. Rewards are doubled till end of turn. So that means that you get a penny. Uh, not entirely. Some of my cards have sleeves. I haven't sleeved them up yet just because I have so many. In fact, let me uh, grab oh, the big boy box, which is the tier I got. So this big chest with a clasp contains all of the cards. Aside from I don't have any of the loot box cards and I don't have a lot of the promos. Um, but yeah, I have so many cards. And I do have some extra sleeves, so I'll probably sleeve a bunch of them. But right now, I don't mind too much. Like, I don't want them to get super degraded. So before I play this with my family, I'll probably sleeve a bunch of them. But I will need to get more sleeves to do that, because I got a lot of cards to deal with. Okay, so that's everything we're starting out with here. Uh, oh, and we have the monsters. So we have Ultra Greed, which is eight health. You got to roll a five or higher on this D6 to hit him, and he hits you back for one. So it doesn't hit you for much, but he is quite hardy. After each attack, roll the active... Uh, wait. After each attack roll, the active player makes against this. Each other player, in turn order, makes an attack roll against it. So it gets attacked twice for every attack. Okay. Uh, the player who kills this gains its rewards. Sure. And that's 40 cents. Whoa! That's pretty good. And he's got a soul. Then Curse Mullaboom, just one heart. Got a roll of four plus, and he hits back for three. And each time a monster dies, this deals three damage to a player chosen at random, so we gotta deal with him first. And I presume that includes itself with that. Uh, two cents. And we're playing with the new room cards. So, Blessing of Gluttony. The active player loots plus one during their loot steps. So you get two cards at the beginning of every turn. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So we will put that. I want to keep it somewhere that y'all can see it. Hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll put it between the characters. Yeah, that works. And what is the rule? Let me double check how the room cards work, because they're new. Let's see. Okay, so after a monster dies at the end of that turn, you may replace this, but it's a pretty good one, so we're not going to. Um, then let me double check. It's been a while since I've played this. Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, so starting as Baba as you, we recharge Baba. Then we loot twice because of Blessing of Gluttony. We get Bible Thump. Loot two, then loot two for each player that died this turn. That's, ooh, that could be good. Um, and then we get a Black Heart, which is also pretty, pretty good. And, hmm. Then, let me just keep this. Oh, 
I'm going to save that for when we hit Ultra Greed, because that'll be real good. Uh, but, hmm. Oh, and that's as your turn starts. So we're just going to copy the emergency meeting. Uh, which, yeah, we'll just do. So we cha-chunk. To copy emergency meeting, they all vote for Curse Mullaboom. And Curse Mullaboom <laughs> dies. Uh, which means it will do three damage to a player, unfortunately, but it gets rid of it. So we get two coins over here. It's going to kill crewmate, unfortunately. And I'm going to still do some more stuff. Now, let me double check when you die. Uh, choose a non-eternal item to destroy. Don't have one. Discard a loot card. We'll discard the black heart. As neat as it is, we still have one. Lose one cent. And then deactivate all of your items. All right, which is unfortunate. But he'll be back. And then, yeah, those go off for now. Ooh, those go off for now. Um. Then. Hmm. Yeah, I still got some stuff I can do. Uh, oh, yeah, including. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, that they, they uses, like, all of my... Okay, we're not gonna use that for him. We are gonna use the traditional thing before you have the counters. Or you just put a D8 of the correct thing. Players can be attacked and have 4+. Plus. At the end of each turn, if the active player is the only living player, they win. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. Uh, indomitable. What is indomitable? Can't be covered. If they would be put in a monster slot, expand monster slots by one and put them in that new slot. Okay. That's fine. Uh, and that guy has two souls and two treasure just straight from the deck. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to do Baba's ability to copy Lucky Penny, which means we gain one. In fact... Let's say we did that ahead of time before we did Curse Mullaboom so we can get two. Uh, yeah, I know it's cheating a little bit. It's fine. I would have done that. It doesn't hurt nobody. Um, then play two cents to get two cents. I believe that's enough to buy something. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is. So we are going to buy Play-Doh cookie. So Baba has the Play-Doh cookie. And that is replaced by Trick Penny. Shop items you purchase cost one cent less. Uh, dollar items you control cost one cent less to activate. Each time you purchase from the shopper treasure deck, gain one cent. At the end of your turn, gain one cent. Wow. That's a lot of money. So I think the crewmate is going to try and get that. Uh, but yeah, that is the end of Baba's turn. So we would discard down. Let me just double check. Hmm. Yeah, crewmate heals back up. Uh, could put a card into discard, but I don't want to because that's a good one. Active player passes the turn. So that's the end of Baba's turn. Crewmate gets stuff back and loots twice. All right. And we got Lost Soul. 
Uh, as this enters play, this becomes a soul. Give it to another player. Well, we'll give it to Baba. Uh, tuck it under. Mm. How do we put it there for right now? Figure that out in a minute. Uh, other players may attack you. You have four plus for the attack. If a player kills you, give this soul to that player. Well, we're not going to do that because we're working together. Um, and we got Witch. Choose one. Deal one damage to a monster or player. Add or subtract one from a roll. Or cancel the uh, activation, the turn, or dollar ability of an item or loot being played. Hmm. That's pretty good. All right. Um, so we got those. Now the question is, what are we going to do with our turn? We could go... We could go after Ultra Greed. Yeah, we're going to play Lucky Penny. So we gain one cent. And then we're going to go after Ultra Greed over here. So... We gotta roll it. We gotta do a five or a six. Uh, all right, we got a five. So that takes out one. Then Baba gets a roll. Whoop. Two, doesn't count, gets attacked. Whoosh. Then we roll for crewmate. Six. All right, then we roll for Baba. Five. Roll for crewmate. Three. So that's one against crewmate. And we're actually going to use emergency meeting. We're going to vote on Ultra Greed to hit it with the damage. Um, which I think I might have had to do first, but we'll say I did. I know I'm playing a little fast and loose with the rules, but it's solo mode. You can kind of do that. Just don't want to do it too much. Baba, handsome for one. Crewmate does not hit. Crewmate's dead. Bleh. Dead. All right. And I believe that's one last one. Six. Ah, so we only got him for six and crewmate died. So we have to get rid of something. I'll get rid of pills, get rid of a scent and everything gets shunk. All right. That's unfortunate. And ultra greed heals right back up to eight, but crewmate also heals back up. Don't have to discard down because the hand limit is 10. Which, oh, I should have added one to the roll. Ah, oh man. Well, I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> Listen, I've only ever played this game a handful of times and a lot of these cards are new. But you're right, I will have to remember that for next time. There's just, there's so much going on in this game. It's really fun, but you got to be really on top of it because there's so much you can miss. Um, okay, so we are going to swap over to Baba, oh, who also gets healed back up, and gets to draw two, two cents, and the Hermit. Look at the top five cards of the treasure deck, put four on the bottom of the deck, and one back on top. I'm not as big on cards like that, but um, yeah. Hang on to it, I guess. In case we die. It's always as good as fodder. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, which... Which, which is it? Uh, we're going to Baba is You, which is copy emergency meeting. And we're going to... I'll put a counter or remove it, but we're gonna just take one. Because Baba is broke. 
Then, let's see. Going to do this to do an emergency meeting. Hit Ultra Greed for one. Then, um, oh, and I forgot. We are on turn seven. Yeah, I'm playing the solo mode, actually. Uh, it's basically you just play two separate characters and you're trying to uh, get four souls within eight turns. So I'm on turn seven, or no, I'm on turn two, because it's counting down, of eight. All right, and so, yeah, we voted to get him. And then uh, we're going to do the Baba to get a copy of the witch. Ooh, do we want to deal a damage or do we want to... We'll, we'll hold off because we can do it later on. Um, then... Then we will use Blackheart on ourselves as our loot card. And then we're going to fight Ultra Greed once again. All right. Hey, da, da, da. Four. So yeah, we're gonna use witch this time because I remembered. Um. Yeah, I like this game too. It's like kind of Munchkin, kind of Magic: The Gathering, just sort of the best parts of both combined together. Um. So. Yeah, it doesn't get discarded. I just get to use it for free. So we are going to bring that up to five. Get that, then crewmate gets to roll. Five. Baba gets to roll. Two. So Blackheart gets discarded. Crewmate. One. Crewmate gets hit. Ultra greed. Uh, one. Baba gets hit. One. Oh, but. Ah. It has to be the active player. We almost got this. That was three ones in a row, but it has to be the active player. So if Baba gets another one, uh, but it doesn't matter, right? Did I just, oh, I forgot. Did I take off the damage for Baba yet? I don't think Baba died there. I think we're good to keep going. So this would be crewmate. Five. And blah, blah, blah. five. Then three. Bleh, crewmate's dead. Bleh. And two. Bleh, Baba's dead. Discard the hermit. Lose a penny. Uh. Lose an item. Ooh, do we want to get rid of the soul or the... Yeah, we'll get rid of the cookie. Because the soul is a point to win. Then... Yeah, everybody's dead. Everybody heals back up. Yeah, I'll tell you now. This is probably going to be suboptimal play. I'm not... I like games a lot. Am I good at them? No. I do my best, but no. I'm pretty bad at games. I'll be the first to admit. All right. So crewmate comes back. Recharged. Doesn't have anything in his hand, but we draw back up. So we got strength. Uh, a player gains plus one till the end of turn and may attack an additional time. So that's really good. So we're gonna use it. Uh, yeah, we're going to use that on Baba, uh, which means tucked under, maybe? Yeah, so Baba has two, and it, do oh, it doesn't end if Baba dies. It only ends if the crewmate dies. Baba's got the silly little hard eyes now. I think that's cute. Um, okay, so... 
buy anything yet. So we're going after Ultra Greed one more time. All right. Here we go. Oh, wait. Before I do that. Or, nope. Actually, I don't have to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't have to. We're going to do emergency meeting. We all vote. Ultra Greed, get out of here. So that's that. And then we start going. So we get one, three. Take the damage. Then Baba gets to go twice. Two. Meh, take the damage. Get to go again. One. Aw. Baba's dead. All right, crewmate, give me some good. Four. Crewmate's dead. <sighs> Discard that. Nickel. Hey, boy. Well, yeah, we're having a problem here. We're going to have to deal with this <laughs> sooner rather than later. So we go down to six. Goes back to Baba. Everybody heals back up. This gets discarded. Baba gets reset. Oh, and Baba loses this trink- or no, do I have to discard trinket or is it just items? Is a trinket an item? Because it's a loot card. Is a trinket an item? Becomes an item under your control. So yeah, that gets discarded. Dang it. <sighs> yeah, Ultra Greed is really tough. I got pretty, that first round, I did pretty good on my first try against him. Just ended up not working out. Uh, as your turn starts, obviously I'm gonna choose the emergency meeting. What else do I have? Hmm. Uh, destroy an item. Ooh. Hmm. Ah, I forgot the magician. Well, Baba doesn't have the option to play another loot card, so. Mm. All right, Baba is gonna take three. Then. Baba is gonna call an emergency meeting, which we're all gonna vote Ultra Greed. Uh, crewmate doesn't have any cards, so can't really use the other ability. All right, let's see if we can do something about this dying Ultra Greed. Two, nope. Crewmate, get him. Three, nope. Baba. Get him. Four. Nope. Uh, yep. Baba dead. And we got discard something. We'll get rid of Burkano. And we get rid of a penny. And then end of the turn. So everybody heals back up. Roommate recharges, gets two cards because of Blessing of Gluttony. Murder! Uh. It is possible to skip attack. I could attack either one, or I can attack whatever this is on top, which I might have to do. So I think this turn, I'm going to try and attack what's on top just to get us some leeway. Um, but we got uh, two cents, and we got murder. Players can be attacked till end of turn. At the end of the turn this was played, if a non-active for player died, return this to the hand of the player who played it. Mm. So that's just a way to, uh, that's a way to be a little imposture. That's cute. Uh, probably not going to use it since this is more co-op the way we're playing. But, yeah, I'm going to play two cents. And we're going to hold an emergency meeting. We, actually, no, we're not going to play an emergency meeting yet because we're gonna attack whatever is on top here. And it is, holy brain, 
Holy brain. Each time a player rolls a three, each monster gains minus one till end of turn. So wouldn't it be they lose one? Ah, eh, whatever. That's how they worded that. Ah, it doesn't have a soul, though. Well, we'll work with it. Um, So, yeah, we're going to emergency meeting. Say, get out of there. And then we're going to roll it. What? Three. Got it. Uh, so Holy Brain is out. Loot one. The Hierophant. Vent up to two damage dealt to a player or monster. That could be useful. We'll keep that in mind. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll save that. We won't use up that. And then we move on to turn four. Then Baba starts over. Copying emergency meeting once again. All right, so we got emergency contact. Cancel an attack on a monster and put that monster card on the bottom of the monster deck. Oh! Hmm. I think I'll probably use that this turn so I can get rid of at least... Uh, oh, he doesn't have a name. Who is that? Is that Satan? Is that, is that Satan? I don't know. We're going to get rid of him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we copied that. So, Chunk. Going to call an emergency. Well, actually, let's wait until we see what happens here. So, yeah, we're going to... We're going to attack this guy, but then immediately cancel it with emergency contact to put him on the bottom of the deck. Right? Let me double check. Yeah. And then we get Curse Little Haunt. If a player would roll a die, they instead roll two dice. The player to their left chooses one of the result uh, rolls as a result. Ooh, okay. He has three hearts, which is all my heart tokens. So hopefully no more of them get it. Okay, um, I can copy. Well, that was my only attack that I could do that turn. And I played my only here, so Baba is done. Then it moves on to crewmate. Gets his stuff back. Then draws two because of Blessing of Gluttony. Uh, the moon, look at the top five. I don't care about that one. Uh, choose a dice roll. Its controller re-rolls it. That can be useful. All right. So. Mm. Yeah, let's get rid of Curse Little Haunt because he'll be a little problem soon enough. So we're going to emergency meeting. Woo, woo. Got him. Got him for one. Then we're going to attack him. And we got to roll twice and pick one of those. So it's three and five. He says it's five. So we got him for one. Then we do it again. Two and six. Well, Baba says it's six. So done for. We loot. Uh, Algiz, choose a player. Each item they control gains eternal till end of turn. That could be pretty useful too. All right, so we got rid of Curse Little Haunt. Ah, uh, you know, maybe I should have kept him. Because that would have actually helped because it would give me more control over my die rolls. Too late now. And now we got the Radiance. Whoa! So he has seven, so we're going to have to use this guy. Uh, each time a player dies, put a counter on this. This has minus one for each counter on it. Okay, the active player loots plus one during their loot step. So you get to, you loot for three, and then you loot ten at the end of that. My goodness. Uh, okay. Well, oh, you know what? I messed up. Oh, I forgot. Every time you die, you're supposed to also lower this one. So let's see. Went up against him one, two, three, four. 
Yeah, I've definitely died at least five times. Let's ignore that for now because because I messed up the rules, so we'll say that that's not the case for this game. But yeah, after after I play through this, we will play it correct. Okay. We'll probably also switch to different characters just for fun. Um, so, in the meantime, let's just finish this off. Should we go for Ultra Greed again, or should we try for the Radiance? Hmm. What does Baba have over here? Well, it doesn't matter because Baba can't play off turn. Okay, uh, so we're going to, we're going to attack Ultra Greed once more. Um, yep. So we got five, and then Baba rolls three, which we are going to dice shard to re-roll. Six, there we go. Then, crewmate rolls again. One, uh, but we're going to tap, or sorry, activate. It's activating by saying, that's a whole thing. Well, let me finish the turn, but I'll explain it in a minute. Uh, so we're gonna use that to prevent that damage happening. Then it's gonna go to Baba. Two, Baba takes damage. Crewmate goes again. Five. Baba. Five. We're doing good. That's halfway. Crewmate. Three. Crewmate takes the damage. Baba. Two. Baba is dead. Loses a scent. Loses a card. Get rid of... Uh, justice. Ah, then crewmate. Come on. No. Dead. Blamp. 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 Blah. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, well. That's what happens. So he gets all of his stuff back. As well as these two. Then this cranks down four. Whew. Okay. Not doing great. But, you know, it's mainly the loadout I've gotten. <laughs> I need to attack here more, I think. Because I've got... Oh, no, I, I don't even have Anne's soul. I only need to get four between them. Like, total... Whew, yeah, I gotta attack the monster deck more. Okay, um... So yeah, what I was about to say... Let me go on a, a mild rant for a second. So... This symbol... Right? As example, this symbol is the activate symbol. Okay? And this is the activate ability. Right? So when you turn it, you are activating the ability that's on the card, right? So you're activating when you turn it. Here's the thing. When you, that is what you're doing, okay? Within the rules of the game. But also, to turn an object sideways, any object, is called deactivating. So, to, to, when you turn it sideways, you are deactivating and activating at the same time. I just, it's just a strange, strange thing that happened where it's like a weird Schrodinger's cat situation. I still like this game a lot. This doesn't break it. It's just very weird, very confusing, and honestly a little sloppy that they made it so that the same action is both activating 
and deactivating, complete polar opposites of each other. Weird. Just a weird choice. But it's a weird game. So. Uh, Alright, Baba gets reset. Baba is, of course, going to pick emergency meeting for is you. Then we get two cards. We get Jester. Reroll any number of items you control. Nice. And the Chariot. A player gains plus one and plus one till the end of turn. So we are going to give that to Baba right away. And we're going to attack Ultra Greed. I think one last time. I think we can manage. I think we can do it. Let's find out. Whew. Yeah. And I can copy. That's not helpful. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna attack Ultra Greed with Baba. One, not a great start. Lost that additional one already. Crewmate gets to do it too. Nope. Baba. Nope. Crewmate. Nope. Crewmate's dead. Ah. Yeah, I don't think this is one that I should really be doing this early on. Baba. Come on, do something. Nope, nothing. Didn't hit him once. Okay. Well, I did very bad on that turn. Uh... Give her two cents. All right, crewmate's turn. Hold on, heal him back up. Crewmate goes again. Okay, we gotta start cracking into that because we are down halfway. But first we gotta... Yep, draw these. We will get a nickel, which they have now. And then we are going to attack whoever's on the top of the deck. Corny, gross. Um, and we're not even gonna roll, we're just gonna do the emergency meeting and vote him out. Uh, it deals damage to a non-active player chosen at random. Baba dies again. Loses. Three cents. Um, but then we'll get healed up at the beginning of the next turn. And crewmate gets four cents. Which means the crewmate can finally buy something at least. We'll take Ultra Flesh Kid. That sounds useful. Or no, let's not take Ultra Flesh Kid. Let's take Trick Penny because that gets us more money in the long run. So, okay, shop items cost one less. Every time you purchase, you gain a cent, and at the end of your turn, you gain a cent. Cool, it is the end of my turn. Although, yeah, let's not waste it, gain three cents. Then we gain another cent, because it's the end of my turn, and Baba heals up. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Okay, so Baba loads back up. Oh, right, that's what I missed. Damocles, if you would gain any number of treasures, instead gain that many plus one. When you die before paying penalties, destroy this. Well, that's fair. Um, right, so Baba is gonna copy emergency meeting. Then he's gonna loot too. We got, uh, that's not very helpful. Ace of diamonds gain X to X cents, where X is the number of monster slots plus the number of loot cards in your hand. Ooh, that's pretty good. Choose a player or monster, then roll. Deal damage to that target equal to the number rolled. That's probably gonna help us get through Ultra Greed. 
Uh, oh yeah, and we're on turn. Turn five. Yeah, so we're gonna tap this to do emergency meeting. Vote one off of Ultra Greed. High Priestess is what we're gonna play. Then we get to roll. Oh, give me six. Three. Three is not terrible. Okay. Then... No, not very useful. <sighs> okay. We're gonna battle Ultra Greed. If it doesn't work this time, we're gonna ignore him entirely. Two. Crewmate gets one. Four. Uh, well, I can't play any of those anyways. Come on. Give me a hit. Six. There we go. Crewmate. Let's go. Six. Down to the last two. Come on, guys. Give me some good. Three. <sighs> that sucks. Although, I should have a counter on this. Because uh, one of the players died. And, just now one of the players died. So that's another one. Oh, Baba. Baba is gone. Get rid of Bible Thump. Then we heal back up. And then we go to Crewmate. Oh, yeah. Ultra Greed also heals back up. Then... Oh, I keep forgetting. The, that's an additional loot. So that's three loot. We get four cents. Uh, destroy an item you control. Steal, an item, uh, steal any item another player controls. Or any item in the shop. Hmm. That could be useful. And then two of spades. Choose another player. Loot X, where X is the number of loot cards in that player's hand. Well, let's just do that. And loot three. Got a panty. Got a dice shard. And we got a panty. Okay. Um. All right. Then we could do emergency meeting, but first we're just gonna attack to see what we even got. Curse of the Suspicious. Other players may attack you. You have three plus for the attack. Well, dip. I believe that is another Among Us reference. Um. Uh, curses. That's fine, the other players aren't gonna attack me. And we're gonna attack again. Wait, do we get to attack again? Like, I got a curse, so I don't think that counts as attacking. Yeah, yeah, that counts as an attack. Uh, so... That's just a curse. Then, it's pretty much the end of my turn. I guess I'll do that for the loot card. Get four. And then I get another one because it's the end of my turn. And that's it. Two turns left. Baba resets. Baba draws two. Or no, Baba draws three because of the Radiance. And uh, copies Emergency Meeting. And we got Dice Shard. We got Loot Card. When the centers play, Loot One. Uh, oh, no, no. I see. So when I play it, I Loot One at the end of my turn. I do another one. I take it back. Uh, and then Greed Butt. And this is put in a monster slot. Expand monsters. Right? That's a loot card. Expand monster slots by one. 
This becomes the monster in monster slot, not being attacked. The active. Wait a minute. Ambush? That's a new one to me. Hold on. Hey, Denny dudes. Thanks for coming by. I'm about ready to lose, <laughs> but I've done pretty good so far. I think, well, I've done okay so far. What? Ambush? Ambush? So, does that mean I play it, or do I just, like, when I draw it, I have to play it immediately? I guess it's just tossing one down. So that's good to know. Uh, he has eight health, but he's really weak. So I think we're gonna actually play him. Yeah, so that we have something to get rid of. Okay. So. Um. Yeah, we're gonna put him into a new slot that he creates. Oops, that was on two. Make sure that's, that is visible, good. Um, okay, then. Oh, I guess it's you play it on someone else's turn. I'm just gonna play it for legits. I don't even care. Then, uh, he has eight, so we're just gonna have to, we're gonna steal this for a minute. Then we're going to do an emergency meeting to do one damage to him. Then we're going to start attacking. Yeah. Five, which it's two plus, that gets him. Then we go again. Five, good. So that brings him down to five. Three still gets him. Uh, one gets me. Six. Uh, two. Five. Just gotta hit him one more time. Five, there we go, he's done. So this could go back to the Radiance. That's discarded, get 13 cents, so I'll just get two nickels. Those three there. All right. Then I'm going to buy some stuff because I got so much money. Um, yeah, we'll go, Let's see, one, two, uh, well, it, yeah, it's only nine for me because I got this, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if we play, then we also get one back because each time you purchase, you get one back with this, and we'll take Ultra Flesh Kid, then we will do a new one, which is Spelunker Hat. At the start of your turn, you may look at the top three cards of a deck and put the... F I don't even care. I don't care about putting stuff back. It's not my deal. All right. Um, then I can buy some more, so I'll do these. And I get one back. Wait, don't put them in there. Get one back for change and one back just because I have the trick penny. And then we get the Book of the Dead. Put a non-event monster card in discard in a monster slot not being attacked. Hmm. Okay. That could be good. Oh, wait a minute. I know what we want to do then. Yeah. Let's use that. Uh... So we will cover that, which means that we get to roll twice every time we roll. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's actually very helpful. All right. Uh, so I lost one, but we're keeping going. I get one because of this. Uh, oh, I'm only allowed to buy one. Whatever. It's almost the end of the game. I messed up the rule. So sue me. Put it on the counter. I don't have a counter. Use It's a table, actually. Um, okay. So we get one. Heal back up. Oh, and... These three go on Curse Little Haunt. Ooh, it's all, like, balanced out on top of the other ones now. That's cute. Then... Uh, yep, got my coin. So this is the last turn. I am not going to win, but oh well. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. This is going to copy... This is going to copy Emergency Meeting. I'm going to draw three because of Blessing of Gluttony and the Radiance. So we got Dad's Note. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> uh, choose up to three non-event monster cards in discard. Put them in one or more monster slots not being attacked. That would be cool. But... Hmm. But yeah, that doesn't help me here. The Lovers. A player gains plus two till the end of turn. That's useful. And Wheel of Fortune, do, 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 do. That one's just fun. So we're gonna do, we're gonna attack the Radiance. No, we're not. No, we're not ready to do that. We're gonna attack whatever's on top here. And it is paper. Uh, when this dies, it becomes an item with plus one and loses all other abilities. The active player gains it. When the attacking player misses an attack roll, cancel the attack. Okay. So, we're going to fight him, but it's going to be super easy. We're just going to do emergency meeting that we're copying. And we're going to vote on Peeper. And he's dead. I'm sorry, Peeper. So we got Bag Lunch. If this would be destroyed, uh, if this would be destroyed, if it has no counters on it, put a counter on it instead. You have plus one while this has a counter on it. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, so, we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, and we get to keep this was the thing. Uh, so that gives us plus one. I don't have any more, so I'm just gonna have to remember. Uh, yeah, this is his hand. <laughs> this is getting very big, but that's what happens with this game. Then, uh, yeah, we're gonna play this. All right. That's my loot card for the turn. Don't have any money. So that's the turn. Okay. Oh, I could copy one of these, actually. What do I want to do? Loot, re-rolls. Ooh. Nah. I'm not gonna bother. Well, may as well, since it's the end, so I'm gonna do the loot card. Uh, so we loot one. Broken remote. Uh, each time you activate an item, you may put a room or monster not being attacked into discard. Hmm. That's pretty cool. But it's not gonna matter, because that's the end of Baba's last turn. Then we have crewmate. This gets this stuff back. Um. Oh, should have used this again to greed butt. Okay, let's let's say instead because I haven't used that yet. We'll say I did greed butt with the first one. Then I'm just gonna do that to bring this back on top of greed butt, which I think makes sense. Uh, probably not. I might have messed that up. I don't know, it's a weird, weird game. Uh, then we're gonna draw three. We got four cents. We got three cents. We got temperance. Choose one, take one damage, gain four cents. Take two damage, gain eight cents. Hmm, that's a good amount of money. But we're not gonna do it. Then... Uh, 
All right, we got the two dice shards. Yeah, we got two dice shards. We're going after Ultra Greed one last time. One last time. Let's do it. All right. So first we're going to do an emergency meeting. Get rid of one. Then we get to roll two dice at a time because of Crystal Haunt. Four, which wouldn't hit. Five. Nice. Then Baba. Two, but we get two rolls. Okay, still did it, but we're going to say it was that one. Roll it. That's five. And we'll roll it again just for fun. That's three. All right. Baba. Nope. What? Baba took a damage. Crewmate. Five. Come on, Baba. Four. No. I refuse. Six. The Curse Little Haunt gives me the ability of two. Nope. Ah! I took one. No! Come on. Four. Four. No! Baba is dead. Bwamp. Uh, would be destroyed, but we put a counter on it instead. Get rid of one of these. I'll just go broken remote since he's not going to get another turn anyways. Or no, what am I doing? I'm not going to do that. Because I have a dice shard that I'm going to use. Just let him re-roll one more time. One! Oh, he does die still. Oop. So it doesn't get destroyed. Just gets a token. No. No, I, I refuse. We're going to do our other dice shard. Come on, I can get a five plus. Two! No! Baba! Baba, no! Okay. Ah. Shit, broken remote gets discarded. All right, crewmate. You can do this. No, no, please. Please, no! No, can I do a reroll? Do I have any rerolls? No. No! No. Well, that's it. Ah, oh, that sucks, but that's how it goes. I only got one soul temporarily. I did very badly, but that's it for the first game. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to run through another game. If I do it correctly, it will not take as long. So I'm going to do different characters this time. So these guys are going away. But let's take out, yeah, of, wait, I'll just make sure to discard all these. That goes away so that there's room. All right. So yeah, while I'm out on my break, in the chat, pick two of these characters to play for this next round. And I'll check chat when I get back in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. Be right back in just a minute. Okay? Okay.
Oops, my light died. One sec. Gotta switch out the battery. There we go. All right. Uh, I gotta set it back up. So, all I'm just gonna do is take all of the current cards and tuck them underneath rather than take the time to shuffle. Since I definitely did not get through the deck. Right. Still got time if you're invested in picking two of these characters for the second round. Otherwise, I know what I'm going to pick. I'd just rather choose what y'all pick, you know? All right. We are ready to go. Going once. Pick the characters we have. I'll run you down. We got Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, a.k.a. Blind Johnny. Uh, we got Pink Knight. We got Quote from uh, Cave Knight, or Cave Story. We got Pink Knight from Castle Crashers. We got Salad Fingers from, yeah. And we got Captain Viridian from Septuple V, or VVVVVV, as I always call it. But, uh, yeah. Going once. Going twice. Okay, we're doing Johnny and Quote. So I gotta find Polar Star is Quote's starting item. And Johnny's is Johnny's Knives. Classic. All right. So let's run down these real quick. We got Blind Johnny. They both have standard loadouts in terms of health and attack then uh johnny is activate to choose a player and they give you a loot card it's a frightening world to be alone in and his knives are activate to deal one damage to a monster or player each time another player dies recharge this that's cool uh yeah uh turn the mic back on right yeah there we go quote is uh, activate to flip an eternal item you control, if able, then recharge it, which Polar Star on the opposite side has booster V2, just like in the game. You're a soldier from the surface, are you not? He didn't say that, someone said that about him. That's a, that's not a quote quote, that's a quote about quote. You know what I'm saying? Man, I should have my iPad set up for uh, stream markers because that was really tricky with the phone. Um, but yeah. And then the Polar Star is activated to choose one, and you either put a counter on this or remove any number of counters from this and gain plus one attack for your next attack roll this turn for each counter removed in this way. Meanwhile, Booster V2 is uh, add one to a roll for each counter removed in this way. So, that is pretty cool. Yeah, I can already see how that could do some cool stuff. Uh, we're going to go with the same bonus souls over here. Oh, I could have gotten this. Oops. My bad. <laughs> it's just, there's so much to keep track of, you know. And then items-wise, we're going to get Red Candle, which activate before a dice is rolled. Choose a number till end of turn. Each time the number is rolled, deal one damage to a monster player. Nice. And Daddy Long Legs. The start of your turn, deal one damage to a monster or player. That's really nice. And monster-wise, we got Mama Gertie. Uh, for you, formed my inward parts. Uh, oh, that's that's just a Bible quote, because sometimes that's what we got in here. And then roll and loot whatever you roll. 
That's pretty neat. And the turdlings. Great. <laughs> Uh, this only takes combat damage on attack rolls of exactly two. When the attacking player makes their second attack roll this turn, after combat damage, cancel the attack. So, you only get to roll twice against those guys. Got it. Alright. And then... We got the Devil Bagar. Uh, pay one health, and then roll. And you can either loot two, loot one, or take damage. Wow, that doesn't sound very good at all. So we'll probably get rid of that guy. And then they each start with three coins. Back in there. And three cards. So Johnny starts with three cents. Prevent all non-combat damage you would take from the callus. That's cool. And judgment, choose the player with the most souls or tie for the most souls. That player discards a soul they control. This is not so good for me because I'm not playing competitively. And Quote got a panty and two butter beans. Cancel the activated or money ability of an item or loot being played. That's not going to help me too much either. Cooperatively. But uh, let's get into it. All right. <sighs> hmm. So I'm going to do Callus. as my loot card. Uh, I'm not gonna steal any cards, but we are going to do Johnny's Knives against the Turdlings. Oh yeah, while I'm at it, just do one there, since I just gave it a damage. Then we are going to attack him. Uh, yeah. Oh, and we start with eight turns. Put that to the side. All right, let's see if I can roll it for two. Six. Nope. So I take... I take two damage and die. What? Didn't even notice how much attack they had. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> well, that was a bad start. All right, uh, I have to get rid of this. I have to get rid of one of these, so I'll get rid of that. Everything gets shashunked. Then he gets healed back up. Um, each time another player dies, so it still doesn't work. Well, that stinks. Oh, and I didn't even draw. Well, say they drew two cents. Then uh, draw here. We got Fiend Fire. As a cost to play this, discard your hand. Deal X damage divided as you choose. Number of loot cards, discard to play this. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, here's how we're gonna do our turn. We're gonna do Polar Star to put a counter on it. Um, then, we're gonna play Uh, no, we're gonna play Fiend Fire, and we're gonna do our hand, which we're gonna use to get rid of these guys. Which lets us loot two, and another one. So we got three cents in Butter Bean, but we already spent our loot, and we got a new guy, uh, Javen. Havon? Haven? Yavin? I don't know this guy. It looks like he's part of the team. Uh, and he has four health. At the start of each turn, the active player rerolls a shop item, then deals one damage to a player chosen at random. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> Um, shoot. Then, yeah, we'll attack Mama Gertie. Why not? 
No, let's not. That sounds like a dangerous move for no reason. Oh, and we go down because Johnny died once, and then we go down again because it's the end of the round. So, Mama Gertie heals back up. That keeps its counter. That goes down. Johnny refreshes. Both of these. And draws Sticky Nickel. Roll, give this to a player to your left or gain five cents. Well, that's about all I got. Um, then we got to do this, which is at the start of each turn. The active player re-rolls a shop item. Uh, we'll give her a red candle, I guess. Mama Mega, destroy this. If you do deal three damage to each monster and player, so I'd basically kill everybody. Wow. Then deals one damage to a player chosen at random. Uh, we'll say odd Johnny even quote. Johnny. Okay. Then. I'm going to use that to deal a damage. Then we're going to play Sticky Nickel. Roll in. Four. So that's eight. All right. Then we can attack Javen, Javon, Yavu, whoever, this guy. Mm, do we want to, though? No, it's not that dangerous. Yeah, we got him for one. And... Ow. Dead. 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 Oh, and I should have lost one for dying last time. Two cents. Well... Oh, and we lose one here. Ah, I'm playing risky. All right, those go back up. Quote refreshes and draws a new card. Oh, I should have, because I didn't want this. After I beat the turtlings, we got fortune teller. Pay three cents to roll. Loot one, loot two, loot three, or loot six. And put this into the discard. The hanged man, oof. That's a little rough. Uh, look at the top card of all decks. You may put the... Uh, just going to flip that over because I don't want to look at it. Um, then we're going to put a counter on Polar Star. All right. And we're going to gain three cents. Um, oh, yeah, and we had to re-roll Mama Mega, we'll say. One up. When you would die on your turn, destroy this. If you do prevent death, heal to full and cancel your attack. You may attack an additional time this turn. Well, that's pretty useful. Um, uh, oh, yeah, and just like last time, odd for Johnny, even for quote, that's one. And quote. Quote isn't going to attack. We're going to play it safe. Although I got to get some souls going. Four. Oh, yep. Yeah. Also, a couple counters on this because Johnny's died a couple times. Stick those right there. Um, okay. Johnny Stern, Johnny heals back up. And we get Golden Trinket. When this enters play, put a golden count a gold counter on another non-eternal item you control. Uh, I don't have any. It says it's the abilities of other items with gold counters on them. Ooh. That's pretty neat. But 
we don't have any non-eternal items, so we're gonna play three cents. She gets us three cents. Three cents. There we go. Still can't buy anything. We're gonna attack the top of the deck. Whoops. Gutted fratter. When this dies, expand monster slots by one. The active player must make an additional attack. So we're gonna do this to immediately do one damage to it. We'll use this as the counter. And we'll put it over you. Then we're rolling for it. Five, uh, it needs to be three plus, so that works. Five. Come on, let's get it. Five. Six. There we go, dead. Monster slots increase. Must make an additional attack, but we also get plus one treasure. Member card. Look at the top three cards of the treasure deck. Put them back in any order, then put a shop item into discard. Shop items you purchase cost four cents less. Really? Interesting. And then we have the Rainmaker. Each time a player rolls a one, they loot one. When this dies, search the monster deck for a curse card and put it in a monster slot. Not being attacked, then shuffle the monster deck. Hmm. I'll deal with him in a minute. Um, we already spent our monies, but I don't care about this, but we are going to buy a one up for seven. Or no, only six. So I get one of those back. And I must attack again. So we're gonna attack the Rainmaker. Two damages me and two uh, damages me, but we destroy this, yield to full, cancel attack, and may make an additional attack. Also, Polyphemus plus two damage, monsters have plus one on your turn. Hmm, that's good to know. We're gonna attack the Rainmaker again. Four. Whoop. Oh, that was gonna be a four, but it's a six anyway, so we're good. And two. Come on, let me get that last one. Four, there we go. All right, so that is a soul. First soul on the board. In fact, we put it in the middle since they're sharing it. And then we loot three. You like that? You like how I grabbed three right off the top? No problem. Ah, oh, that's skills. That's card drawn skills right there. That's what we do here, baby. All right, two cents, two cents. Demon form, gain plus two till end of turn, which will be very useful for taking out some of these guys. Then we got Hubert Cumberdale. Uh, did a three, four, one. He gets this. When this dies, if it dealt combat damage to a player this turn, put it in a monster slot at the end of the turn. Hmm. When this dies, choose another player, they die. Well, we're not gonna attack that, because that's mean. Oh, and I needed to reroll the... The... I'll get rid of this one. And we got magic skin. Say we did damage to somebody else. Uh, well, it's supposed to be random, I guess. One. Oh, which would have killed you. We'll say it was a quote. Don't tell nobody. I'm cheating, just a little bit. Okay, and plus one treasure, put a counter on this, then give this to another player. The start of your turn, roll. If the result is less than the number of counters on this, destroys. That's too complicated. I'm not buying that. I ain't buying that. I don't want it. Too complicated. 
Oh, and I'm supposed to look for a curse card. Put it on one not being attacked, so we'll put it over there. And then shuffle the monster deck. I'm going to do a sloppy overhand shuffle because I don't feel like doing a full proper casino riffle shuffle, which is what I would normally do. Overhand shuffles are almost useless. Like you have to would have to do it like tens of thousands of times to actually get it properly randomized. Whereas a riffle shuffle, you do it seven times. Um, okay. We looted all that. Pretty sure I already did my thing this time. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, that's the end of Johnny's turn. Everything heals back up. It's Quote's turn. Quote draws a card. Look at the top five cards of the... Ah, I don't like doing those ones. Uh, oh, and this goes back up. And he's covered, so we don't have to worry about that. I really want to buy this. But... Mm. Yeah, we're going to put another counter on that guy. Nobody else has died yet. None of these cards, this is a terrible hand for me. I'm not going to attack anybody because I don't want to. So. Yeah, that's just the end of Quote's turn. Kind of underwhelming. But that's how it goes sometimes. Oh, let me make sure that's visible. All right, Johnny's turn. Johnny draws the stars. Game plus one treasure. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I know what I want to do. So I'm going to play Golden Trinket. Enters play, we'll put a gold counter of a penny on the member card. This is the ability of that, which means it's minus four, minus four. So it's only two to buy Polyphemus, which is plus two. Tuck it underneath. Then... Oh, and I should have gotten rid of this because I didn't want it. Hold on. Blessing of the Sack. Rewards are doubled. Nice. All right. So I played Golden Trinket. Put that down. I don't really want to get rid of that guy. Mama Gertie. Mama Gertie, though... Yeah, yeah, I think I want to take out Mama Gertie. So, I'm going to use Johnny's Knives to deal the damage. Then we're going to go in for the attack. Which is... Got to hit a four or higher. But he attacks for three. He hit a three. He's dead. Wah. All right. Get rid of this one. Get rid of a scent. Get rid of that scent. Uh, this clicks down. That gets one. Mm. 
Okay. We're running low on time. So, this comes back up. Then, God, this hand sucks. The stars, each player gains one treasure, then you gain one treasure. Well, let's do that. Oh, I forgot to fill this in. Tony! Plus one, you have plus one. While you control no other non-eternal items, that's pretty good. But we're gonna get Diogenes Punt. Take no combat damage on attack rolls of two or three. Each time you roll an attack roll of one, you die. Well then. Then, Bobby Bomb. When you gain or purchase this, reveal the top 10 cards of the loot deck. Put each card with Bomb in its name in your hand and the rest on the bottom of the loot deck. Top 10 cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any that have bomb in them. Okay, I want a trash farm. We have one. Um, put a card with bomb in its name from the loot discard. I don't think there have been... Uh, yeah, there haven't been any yet. What does the bomb do anyways? Deal one damage to a monster or enemy. Uh, whoops, actually, that's Johnny's hand. This is Quote's hand. Um, okay. And I played that, and I could attack Mama Gertie. Yeah. So that gives us four. Roll on it. One. Oh, and it's only for the one roll. Oh, that sucks. And I get attacked. And I die. Which means that's one. No, and I believe at the end of the turn is when that counts down the last time. Yeah. So that's it. Oh well. That's the that's the best I could do. So yeah. Binding of Isaac, Four Souls. Very fun game. In terms of like I know a lot of people love Munchkin. It's okay. I would say get the digital version more than anything because it's cheaper and you know, you can just cry, crank one out on your phone real quick. Just have a couple playthroughs. Uh, but if you want something that feels, and similar with Magic the Gathering, it's like that game's fine, but it's expensive and you gotta keep up with stuff. But if you want a game that's like an all encompassing, just buy one thing, Magic the Gathering feeling and munchkin feeling thing, I would say this does it. And if you like Binding of Isaac, it's just icing on top. So yeah, you don't have to get all of the expansions. You can get the base game. I have all of the expansions. I have some of the promos, but you don't have to have that to play the game. So I say you should get it. It's pretty fun. Uh, Yeah, that'll do it for tonight. We're going to raid over to someone, so don't go away quite yet. But please take the time to follow and subscribe if you haven't. Check out my socials down below on the browser version, which I'll actually drop those in real quick. Hold on, I'm typing them in. There we go, check out any of my socials. And uh, yeah, let's see who we're gonna raid over to now. Oh, what are we gonna do? Let's go Noreen Serene. I like Noreen. She's always pretty cool. Uh, is she actually go when it says just chatting, this usually means that she's just started. No, yeah, that's that's correct. Okay.
All right. Let Noreen know I sent you. Have a great rest of your night. I'll see y'all on Friday, okay? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. A goodbye.